you ever hear about it, Dan Markell? On uh, homicide. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 No. Okay. You hadn't heard about that murder or anything? You know anything about ever hear it on the that news or anything? No murder. This handsome Miami guy was not expecting a visit from the FBI at his cool workplace, but he should have been expecting that visit. You see, Sigfredo Garcia, also known as Tuto, is a hitman. At the time of this FBI field interrogation, Sigfredo, let's just go ahead and call him Tuto, is holding a regular job. His sort of wife, Katie, with whom he shared two children, finally got Tuto to settle down and keep a regular job. But then the FBI showed up and it all went downhill from there. Back in July of 2014, Sigfredo Garcia Tuto and his childhood friend and also bad guy, Luis Rivera, also known as Tato, both drive up to Tallahassee from Miami and carried out a hit on FSU law professor Dan Markell. Sadly, they were successful. Tuto and Tato thought they got away with the crime, but unbeknownst to them and due to dozens of mistakes they made, the Tallahassee Police Department, working together with the FBI, were hot in their trail. So here in this video, you get to see when Tuto first finds out that the FBI is after him for the hit on Dan Markell. Here we go. Louis Rivera, Luis Rivera, something like that. We got some information about something that happened a couple years ago. And your name popped up in it. Oh, We're just trying sure. to... Okay. All right. Um, this happened up in North Florida, um, up in the northern end of Florida up there. You ever been to Tallahassee, Florida? No, I have not. No, never. Um, okay. Um, that, do you know of Luis Rivera or Luis Rivera or something like that? Like I guess I know several. Okay. But at the same time. Oh, excuse us. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, okay. Is there one that you're, that you're friends with or anything? Do you I hang mean, out you, with or anything? Would be like a little more specific as to what it is that he's kind of short guy. Asking for um, or why I might know him or if I feel like I can even say I know him because from what um, my prior experience. I'm sure you know my name. You know exactly where to come well, we from. Yeah, we yeah, found one of book right? So, right now, you got a nice job and stuff. Yeah, That's yeah, why we, yeah. I got my we wanted family. And, and you know. we found out you had kids. I didn't want to do this for any kids. You know what I mean? Yeah, I it's bad enough doing it at your work, but I don't know where else to find you. Up, it's either at home or at work. It's the only yeah. two places I know to come talk to you about. Right. So I'm saying, I don't want to freak your your, your kids out. And stuff. Yeah. Yeah, let's look at it. 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 let us look at do you know who Dan Mar Markell is? No, he's you know, not like anybody else. He's not like anybody now? Okay. So you've never been in North Florida either. Um, um, as far as um, taking trips up north or anything, have you... Um, no, whatsoever. No, no, whatsoever. You've never been up that way? Okay. Um, who do you live with right now? You live with somebody... I live, I live, I live with my wife. Yeah, you, you, you're married. Okay. Yes, yes, okay. yes. What's her name? Why? That's, that's, you know, I'm not going to really... You mean, and, and, you know, your name came up in an investigation, okay. obviously, uh, and that's why we're trying to get your side of the story to find out if there's any validity to it, if there's any, you know, reason about it. Um, uh, um, your wife works, uh, and your wife works obviously, somewhere and makes money herself, so um, what, what kind of car does she drive? You know, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get you to talk to me about some stuff, and I can't tell you what our investigation is, is totally about, right? I can't just go into it. It's just like a one-sided kind of thing. I know, it is. Really fair, I mean, you know. okay, your name came out like I told you. Gotcha. Yeah, now you look like you're you doing know, well for yourself, yeah, for sure. You know, I know, I know. right now it's, like, it's kind of, you know, that I get my eyes with the FBI. It's like, wow, you know, this, this is not something I'm accustomed to, so obviously I'm on defense, and I don't I gotcha. think I should say anything more than that. What I want to say? Okay. But I mean, I you know, you. If, if I could help, obviously I'd be more than happy to. Okay. You know, I definitely don't want people coming over here to my job. I know. Because obviously right now that's stirred up. Because when I got right. this job, I'm not the greatest person to have a job in financing. Sure. So right now, what you practically did was just like 
Take you can go back in and tell her you're a witness in a case. You go back and tell her you're going to go in and stuff. That they're going to think, you know, are, they, are they in litigation? Are they going to court? Is it, are they getting audited? Is it something that I'm doing against my company now? So yeah, it's I, like pretty much you just like shaded part of my front all over the little bit of character. Well, we're, we're trying not to. That's why we try to just whisper to you and then yeah. you just no, come out. I appreciate at least the... the yeah, um, we tempted to. The, the other way, if that were your kids, we thought this would be the better. Yeah, the discreetness. But, you know, yeah. a phone call maybe. Or I don't know. Either. Oh, we didn't know your number either. What, what's your phone number? Your cell phone number? Once again. Can I get that either? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I want to, but it's just, I feel like I should be a little bit defensive now. Because, you know, you guys showed up to my okay. job. I'm really, I hear you. I hear you. I'm really upset that I should be. I hear you. Had to happen. I hear you. Know? you. I, you know, it, we got a job to do. We got no, to make no, things out. I, I respect that. I respect that. I'm talking. To me, so it's like, okay. and then uh, recently, you know, it's just, it's just, it just doesn't feel right right now. Okay. I, I don't know. I mean, you guys seem very welcoming and nice and everything you do. You're very good. She, she <laughs> we, didn't nice in, we didn't come in here kicking doors in to go in. Like, like I told you. Star, like I told you. Beat me up, dragging me out of my job. Like I said, it's totally voluntary. You're not under arrest. Yeah, no, we're no, here no, just no. talking to you and stuff. And we're just trying to, I mean, trying to find out. Yeah. We got some information and we're trying to find out if that information is even at all without ruining your life here. I travel to Orlando. I go to Disney. Okay. You know, I go to LA. I've gone to. Uh, the military public, my family, stuff like that. Okay, all right. All right, Mr. Rivera is a little short, um, short Hispanic. Um, he's got some, I think he's got some tattoos and stuff. I mean, you know a lot of guys you hang out with. I mean, there's a lot of them like that. This one got locked up in jail. He's he's in prison right now. Okay, because, you know, my name is very different. It is. It so, is very specific. There's not a whole yeah, lot of people with your name out yeah, there. So that's, that's how we were able to find you so easy because yeah. you know, somebody gave up your name. Uh, yeah. you know, somebody gave up your name. Okay. Um, is it, do you have a nickname? Is your nickname Tuto? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Is it is? Do you know Rivera is Tato? I know, you know a, a Tato. I know a Tato. Yeah. My uncle's Tato too, though. So. Okay. But is there? Do you know a, a Luis Rivera or? Louis Rivera, that's Tato Rivera. also. Okay. Louis Rivera, yeah. Okay. I know several Louis Rivera. So okay. Let's just, just keep it like that because I don't understand where you're going with this. Okay, okay. well, I want to sign out who this guy is and find out exactly what his deal is. If you're if you're tight with him or not, if you've if you've been with him a lot, you're staying with, with him. Yeah, no. No, I haven't been with nobody a lot. Okay. I'm always with my, my wife, my kids. Okay. So I got gotcha. you. Okay. I'm like daddy of the year, that's you. Okay. Right. I really am. Awesome. Yeah, I even babysit. How old are your kids? Nine and four. Oh, awesome. A good age, man. Yeah, uh, boy and girl. Boy and girl. Got one of each. Awesome. Yeah, That's yeah. Top close. Having those ages, man, is pretty cool. They're out of that diaper stage, but they can still do their own yeah, stuff yeah, now. She's just, she already she sleeps without diapers. So. Really? That's awesome, man. Yeah, sleep sleep through the night now and don't have to yeah, worry about yeah, it. It's been a while. We, we always sleep through the night. But still. Oh, okay. So what, what, what can I do to, um, so obviously we have to, there's some issues that you want to speak to me about. I right, feel like right. I shouldn't. Any more than I have to because for some reason I don't want to be collateral damage or even something right. to something that I have nothing to do with. So right, if you had nothing to do with it, that's what you need to clear your name with. And, and yeah, yeah, but still, out of for, this, me, well. for me to clear my name on something I don't know anything about. Yeah, well, here's the deal. We got a bunch of stuff at the office that I can sit down. And if you wanted to go to the office, we can sit down and I can go over some stuff, some, some documents and stuff like that, and find out if you know anything about all this stuff. Um, so you'd have to be willing to come down to the office with them. Yeah, I, I, I would go out to attorney, obviously. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. That just sounds wrong. Okay. Just it's like you have a whole bunch of stuff on people. I just handed that kid and said, you might name. be able to help us out. You might be able to point us out and say, yeah, I know this person. They were doing this. They were doing that. And yeah, we might be able to point us out. I'm not really that guy. Okay. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 It really I, helped I, clear I, some I, stuff I, up, man. I, 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 I have my attorney call you guys. Who's your attorney? I don't know yet, but I'm going to call him. Oh, okay, you'll have one already. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if you didn't do anything wrong, man, you don't have anything. Well, I'm on the way, I hear you, man. I hear you. I, just, I, I hate to leave this hanging like this, though, man. I know, man. I hate it, too, bro. You, you're telling me I got... I know, yeah, I, I can know. Do my job. I know. It's not hanging right now. When I walk back in, there's a beret of questions. It's going to be ridiculous right Tell now. Tell them what That's why we we won't we talk in front of them. We're not going to put you yeah, out yeah, there like that. Yeah, to my desk. That's why my manager started. My supervisor, I'll eat your breakfast. Right. My supervisor comes up and she does it because nobody's allowed inside the financial exactly. office because oh, we have really? people's personal information and then we're PCI compliant. Uh, okay. It's accredited. We can't gotcha. have. So I have walk in people come in and talk to you it's all through no. the phone? Yeah. So when you guys okay. came in, obviously, yeah, and I me and some mini I got you. She's like, this is not allowed. I got you. I got you. So, um, 
I got you. Well, that's our mistake. We didn't realize what the no, hell said up in there. See, you know, I didn't want to call your manager and say, hey, with the FBI, we need to talk to you. know, we yeah, told you, you, you we're trying to get around her so she doesn't, you yeah, know, yeah, she doesn't little screen job. There's no getting around her. She's, she's <laughs> I can tell. She, she I can tell. Yeah, yeah, I can tell. That's why I wanted you to step outside so I can show you my credit is not short to her. Yeah, but it could have been a, a disgruntled. I know. I understand her reason. Well, that one, I, uh, I totally understand. I know. But you can see about what we were trying to do. We were trying not to put you out there with your manager. I got you. I understand. No, I know what I see from Done. That's why I said, okay, I'm not going outside with this guy. I don't know if he's somebody we let money to. He defaulted on. He wasn't happy with the terms. He might shoot me in the hallway. Oh, you see it? See it in my, my shirt? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very plain, big gun too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I really don't. I'm not going to go without an attorney. I mean, I understand it. Unless you're telling me I'm under arrest and you're taking no. me to jail. No, you're I, mean, not, I, I want to help you guys. I really do. Okay. Anything I can do to help you, I would be more than happy to help you. But I'm not going to like just put myself in a position where I might. You're not be helping myself. I got you. Know, you. It might not work out for me. I don't like that. What's it? I got you. Um, I mean, I don't. I don't I'm trying to think if there's anything else we can somehow we can resolve this by staying here in this hallway. Um, um, so you haven't been in Tallahassee, and you don't really have you taken any trips with uh, Mr. Rivera with Tato? No. You ever been anywhere with him? No. No. Do you know what his phone number is? I mean, stuff like that. And your old phone number, stuff like that, would help us. No, I mean, I actually, uh, might clear things up if you know we know what phone you were using and what phones other people are using during time periods. It would, it would help us out. You tell us the phone numbers, stuff like that. Nowadays, by like <coughs> writing the phone number down. Like, do you really remember like any of your friends' phone numbers? I remember. Not anymore. <laughs> it's, it's an old, it's an old art. Yeah, it's an old yeah, art. It is. I know my mom's number. Awesome. You know. Yeah. Ones that people have for a long time. But your own phone number? You remember your yeah, own phone I've number? Yeah, I changed my number a couple of times too as well because I actually, me and my wife were separated okay. for a while. So I was with some other girls and couldn't come back home with the same number. When were y'all separated? How long? For about two years. Wow. You know, back together now. Awesome. Yeah, I got the kids, you know. Absolutely. That's yeah. good though, man. It's good for the kids for sure, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, kids. You, there's arguments both ways, but you know, kids need both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's no, it's tough on kids. kids yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's cool, man. I'm, that's impressive. You got back to it. Broken Yeah, yeah. It's you, it's you know what it's like, man. So yeah, exactly. that's, that's cool. So y'all been back together, and we caught y'all apart for two years. Yeah, probably even more than that. A little more than that. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. It's alright though. You know this what it is. I hear you, man. I don't want to keep you from your job here. I just, uh, I, don't, I hate to leave this. I don't, 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 don't want to go back to my job now. I know. It's like right now, I'm in, I'm in a position where I don't even know what I'm going to say when I get back in there. Because it's like, I don't have anything to say. I don't know what to say. But I hear you, man. Oh, you know, the FBI came and asked me questions about some Spanish Latino guy that's short with tattoos. And uh, they wanted me to know if I've taken trips with him. That's like <laughs> odd questions. And it's, you know, it's like, no, obviously, but it's still scary to me because I don't know what you guys want. Right. What people are trying to tie me into. Yeah, yeah. Because the FBI don't just come around asking people questions. I watch enough stuff. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, and, and like I said, you know, if, if, if we knew you did, if we thought you did something, you know, it wouldn't be me here, standing here, coming up to your work, just talking to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're just trying to get information from you. No, That's why we're trying I, to get you I, to help I, us. That. You know what you I mean? Know, it's, it's just, you know, at, at, at my expense. You know, I understand you guys are trying to do something, but right now, you guys... I hear you. I'm just trying to think of ways to clear this thing up, man. I mean, we had somebody call in and gave us your information about something that happened up north. I'll go ahead, you know, I'll go ahead and tell you about it. it. Was there was a there was a homicide up in up in the north part of Florida up there? Um, did you ever hear about it, Dan Markell? A homicide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. You hadn't heard about that murder or anything? You know anything about ever hearing on the that news or anything? No murder. Okay. Okay. At this moment in the interview, Tuto refused to say anything else without a lawyer present. He was eventually arrested, indicted, and convicted. He is now serving a life sentence in a Florida prison. His wife is also serving a life sentence for her involvement in the hit. And now Charles Adelson, the former brother-in-law of the victim, is facing charges for allegedly ordering the hit. I'm going to give you an update about the case of State of Florida versus Sigfredo Garcia shortly. But before that, I'm going to read to you a letter written by Sigfredo to Catherine McManua while they were both in jail, written on October 11, 2019, right after he was convicted for the murder of Dan Markell 
And Catherine Magbanua had a mistrial because the jury couldn't decide on her guilt. So this is what he writes to Katie, who, as you know, is the mother of his two children. Katie, damn, as I write this letter through blurred vision, I am devastated. I'm still at a loss. But what's important is that although your outcome wasn't a win exactly, it definitely was not a loss. You have a couple good things to look forward to in your pursuit of justice. For starters, I will not be sitting next to you with all my bad juju. <laughs> next, your attorneys will be better equipped to defend you now that they have seen all the sucker punches and manipulations the other side got away with. It is not over, Chuchi. There's light at the other end of this dark tunnel. You just have to keep your head up and keep moving forward. You're a trooper, Bay. You're my little sunshine. I know there have been more than a little bit of times when I wasn't the best man I could have been for you. Know that I love you unconditionally. You're the best thing that ever happened to me, hands down. Ever since the first time I saw you at Cheyenne's house, wearing your yellow Philippine shirt with that sun and trees on it, I knew you were special and that holds true to this day. Your warmth and your kindness motivated me to be a better person. And I'll always be forever grateful to you for not only that, but for giving me your love and my children. We both have a difficult road ahead of us. Just know that you'll always have me. Just because they knocked me down, don't count me out. I plan on fighting this with every breath I have. I'm going to start with my direct appeal and continue exhausting every appeal in the books until they get so tired of seeing me, they'll give up and free me. Don't give up on me. I need you more than ever. Even if it's just some written or spoken words of encouragement, they'll always mean the world to me. You know you've always been tougher than me. Well, I have my sentencing on Monday, and by the time you get this letter, we'll know where I stand. But no matter where I stand, remember how I stand, with my chest out and my head high, and I expect nothing less from you. Please stay in touch. I love you, Chuchi. Unrevocably. Yours always, Mr. Penguin Every Stuff. No returns allowed. Ha <laughs> ha. P.S. Also, Sam does not handle appeals. Maybe you can contact Chrissy and see if she can handle mine for pro bono or charity since I'm broke. Ha <laughs> ha. Reach out to her and see what she says. I appreciate it. So, of course, Sigfredo Garcia lost his direct appeal. He recently filed a motion for post-conviction relief, claiming that his counsel was ineffective in representing him. And the state of Florida, on September 11, 2023, filed its response. The response simply says that the state denies the defendant's claims and requests that the matter be set for an evidentiary hearing where it will be the defendant's burden to prove the claims alleged. Therefore, an evidentiary hearing will be held, which will be covered on this channel, at which Sigfredo Garcia will be there, with or without an attorney representing him. He's going to have to call his defense attorney, Sam Zangane, and his co-counsel as witnesses, and will try to prove to the court why they were ineffective in the representation of Mr. Sigfredo Garcia. And of course, the defense attorneys will then be able to explain why they made the decisions that they made. Those are very difficult claims to win. So good luck to Sigfredo. Well, not really. Thanks for watching Mentor Lawyer and Ladybug.